Doro, you dirks. This is Dirk, and welcome back to the EXPNU Wi Fi battle, you know, the EXPNU League battle. This time around, we're against the Marvel Munchlaxes. Yup. Yup, that's uh, Dan, Daniel, aka Trainer Zabuza, aka Bulky McBulkerson. Make sure to check him out, and of course, check out everybody else in the league. And if you are a member of the Dirks, I'm gonna leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we're gonna go straight into this. His team. Had a had a very annoying bulk core with uh you know he had he could bring Registeel and Zapdos and more Meganium and that would just annoy the hell out of me. But you know you'll see what we brought. You'll see what we brought. You'll see what we brought. You know this is just the beginning. But pretty much I was scared, so I was bringing specially defensive Slowbro so I could set up against his uh, Zapdos. If it, if it was Life Orb, it'd still be hard. But I brought Spadef Slowbro with uh, Psy Shock, Skull Combine, and Slack Off. And as you can see, he brought the Archeob, Zapdos, Typhlosion, Braviary, Registeel, and Confagrius. Confagrius was also one of those mods that I was not, I didn't really have anything for, um, besides plus two Crunch from Mega, Lu uh, not Mega, from Lucario, which probably, which still wouldn't kill from full. So uh, rocks were important. So this time I still, br I brought the little rain support that I brought last time, except I didn't really, you know, I, I wasn't expecting it to do much, but I thought it could help me outspeed his Slurpuff if he brought it. So yeah, our team was especially especially attacking Seismitoad with rocks, uh, Tornadus with U-turn and Taunt so that he couldn't like toxic me or whatever. Clefable would actually you guys are gonna hate me, but my Clefable had Combine and Cosmic Power and Stored Power because the only thing that stopped me from spamming Stored Power was his Registeel, and if I got to like plus six, it it no longer became a problem. It no longer became a problem. So I wasn't too scared about that. He could have had Haze on Confagoras. That was also scary. He's taking his time to make his thing. Um, HP Grass on Zapdos was also in the back of my mind. But I was thinking he probably has it on Typhlosion. I don't know if he'd have it on both or not. Maybe. Who knows. I was like pretty much I didn't make most of my team. My assistant coach Dokes and you know a couple of my friends were just. I was just like yo guys make me one mon for this team. Because I didn't have time. I didn't have time. So they just made me one mon. And I'm like you know I'll battle with it. Fine. So uh, I lead off with my slow bro because there's no reason not to, and uh, I get a free scald here on anything possible burn. This his Archaeops is forced to switch out. Later on, you'll realize that this uh, Archaeops did have an interesting set. Um, I mean, it was the lead Archaeops that a lot of people are used to, but you know, as as predicted, he he U turns out into his uh, what you might call it Zapdos. And, you know, good switch, good switch. I could have gotten for Combine here, but I didn't know if this was fully offensive Zapdos or not, so I just went for the scald. And by that damage, that did a lot. That, that's not normal bulky Zapdos at least. Because I was, I did the calc, and I was like, wait, that did a little too much. So I play it safe. I switch out into my Seismic Toad, even though I'm like, he could go for HP Grass here. That would be a safe play, um, because like I, I you, you don't understand. You don't understand. When I was thinking in this part of the battle, I'm like, if he goes for HP Grass here, I kind of lose. Because uh, my switch in right now is Seismic Toad. So um, yeah, but. You know, he could. He could go for HP Grass, and I'm just like, uh, you know, I don't really have anything for this. Because, like, you'll, you'll find out, you know, this burn really helps me out later on. It really helps me out. But the thing is, Scald, everybody knows Scald. <laughs> you know Scald. I know Scald. Switching in on Scald pretty much means that, you know, you're ready. You're taking that risk to get burned. You're always coming in, you know, ready to get burned. That's like coming in on a will o -Wisp. You're ready to get burned. But, you know... I don't. I mean, I think he can. He can either go for the T bolt or the HP grass here. That's what I was thinking at least. And I'm like, um, is he gonna predict this early in the game? I don't. I mean, I didn't think Dan was gonna predict this early in the game anyway, because it's, I don't. I don't. I don't. From what I've seen, I don't think he usually does. But I do make the swap into Sidemetode, um, and I'm just like, well. And he goes for the hidden power. I'm like, well, that's hidden power grass. I'm dead. And it's not hidden power grass. I was like, what? But since it did, it did neutral. I'm guessing it was HP ice for something on my team. I'm. I don't even remember what it could what it could be for. Uh, I mean, that's just a normal Zapdos set to be honest. So here, you know, I can just go for my rocks, or I could go for damage. But I start thinking about it. I'm just like, if I go for my rocks here, I can come back later with Tornadus, Swift Swim up, and after rocks, everything is in range of uh, getting two two a KO'd by Seismitoad. So he goes for the HP Ice again. He's probably like Heat Wave T Bolt. I mean, Heat ba Heat Wave Volt Switch. Um, HP Ice in either Defog Roost. Oh wait, no, he showed Defog. My bad, Defog. So I go for my rocks here while he go. Um, I force him to Defog pretty much because this gives me a free switch 
even if he does go for HP Ice again, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So, because nothing else on my team is weak. I'm guessing it's HP Ice. It did neutral. It could be like HP Fighting or something. I don't know. I don't know what he had. I'm guessing it's Ice. Assuming. Just saying. Anyway. But now it's pretty much me waiting on him, to, you know. Actually, no, because, yeah, because I make my switch. I'm just like, you know, what's my best play right now? Um, you know, I'm just like, he can. he's just going to go for HP Ice or Defog again. So I'm just going to switch out straight into my Windy Boy. Windy Boy, shout out to my boy Wind Slicer. He was one of the ones, he's the one who made this Clefable set. Uh, you guys will soon see, though, this Clefable does not do anything. So, <laughs> shut up, so fuck you. I mean, all those guys helped me make the team, by the way. Their links will be in the description below. Dokes, uh, everybody has a channel, at least, and, you know, who gave me their Twitter. So, they're cool people. They're cool people. Uh, most of them do upload, so check them out, guys. Check them out. So here, I'm like, you know, I'm just going to go for a Cosmic Power, because nothing, because pretty much... When I was team building, like when, they, they, when he, he, I was given this set for Clefable, he was like, "I just what you all you gotta do is just calm mind and cosmic power." You know, when you get to like plus six, you still one v one his Registeel and win. I'm just like, really, okay. But he brings out his Confagus, which is also another switch into a Clefable. Don't get me wrong. I'm like, what is a Clefable? I think I was like, he probably is gonna you know trick me, and then he's going to, no, not trick me, my bad. He's gonna willow with me and then he hex me to death. But I was like, I'm not really too scared about that. So I stay in, go for the Cosmic Power again, because there's no reason not to, right? So I go for the Cosmic Power, and he reveals the almighty trick. And he gives me a nice and powerful Choice Specs. Uh, I'm, I was actually, okay, fine. You got me. You got me. You got me, Dan. You got me. But what it is, what it is though, is that Clefable's not doing much of battle anyway. So, I just fire off a little story power to get a small chip damage off on anything. He's probably going to Registeel here, which is fine. But that's definitely especially defensive Registeel. Like, you can tell by this. Watch. Does nothing. Like, that's... And later on, you'll see it's definitely especially defensive. So, I'm like, okay, I don't really need Clefable anymore. He's going to be fodder later on. Um, you'll see. Because, think about it. What, Clefable didn't do anything. Like, if it's set up, yeah, sure. But you'll also find out later on what he has on other mons just to deal with Clefable. So... Uh, and what his Registeel has, like, I was, I was blown back by what his Registeel had. But in the end, his, uh, this, uh, this Clefable is not gonna do shit. Yep, this Clefable is not gonna do anything. I'm sorry, Wind, but your Clefable was completely useless this whole battle. It, it did its job, acted as fodder, so I get free switch in, I get a free switch in later on, but, you know, whatever. He makes a nice double into, uh, Falcon Paunch, while I go straight into my almighty blue shrek and i'm like fuck okay that's a good prediction by you and now i'm just gonna go back and clefable sack it off because i still need blue shrek because this thing this thing could be scarfed i don't know i don't know i'm guessing it's scarf 90 percent of the time they're scarfed also he, he didn't bring his mega his mega galade he was real trust me he was really afraid of mega slow bro and yeah he was really afraid of mega slow bro but what are you gonna do you know mega slow bro is a scary mon so i just go into this thing I, I need this is also useful because I am fully defensive, so I'll be able to see how much this Brave Bird does. It does about like 40 to 40 percent, 45 to 50 maybe max. So that is I'm I calc it. I think it, I said it was scarfed. It was definitely scarfed. So since this is scarfed, that gives me a free switch into a bunch of mons actually. So I can go straight into my. I have a couple choices actually. I go into Slowbro, and I could yeah I could go into Slowbro. <laughs> I go to Slowbro. That's pretty much it. My buddy Kumar coming through. Hey, then once again, this is especially defensive slow, bro, which he doesn't know, so he's probably just like, I, I'm not get, letting this thing get burned, so, you know, screw it. He's probably going to go into his Registeel, because that's his especially defensive wall, and I'm I'm fine with that, because I just get a burn on his Registeel. 1v1, late, 1v1, I kind of beat his Registeel, because I do have slack off. I mean, it could have, if it doesn't have Toxic, if it doesn't have Toxic, I beat it 1v1. It could have T-Wave, uh, but... Once again, you guys gotta remember the last bunch of battles I've been bringing rest, sleep, talk, Mega Slow, bro. So my if my opponent brings toxic and I'm just rest, he loses. You have to remember that. So that's I'm I have to think. That's the thing about league battles. Oh, I also got a burn. That's not bad. <laughs> but you have to think about it. like league battle. You have to see, you'll see that doesn't matter because yeah, soon you'll see that doesn't matter. But league battles, it's just pretty much you have to think about what your opponent will bring because of what you have been bringing <laughs> yeah 
So I've always, I've been pretty much always brought, except for my first battle, I brought Rest, Sleep Talk, Mega Slow Bro. I mean, yeah, Rest, Sleep, uh, Crow Bro. I brought Crow Bro. So him going for Toxic here while I go for a Calm Mind makes him lose. So he doubles out into uh, this thing for some reason. I was confused too. I'm just like, I don't care. Because <laughs> I was going to Digimon Tuber right here. And I get to see his moveset. He is actually Stone Edge, U Turn, Stealth Rocks, and Taunt. Which means he can't. Look how fast. This is sped up. Look at these fucking chicken flying. But he knows that I am. I know he's lead, so I know he's not Scarf because he has Taunt and Stealth Rocks. And he knows I'm Scarf, so he's forced to switch out here. And U Turn is my obvious play. But he needs this thing to win later on because this thing taunts my other mons. Like, he taunts Mega Slowbro. Even if he dies, he still taunts Mega Slowbro. Um, so. I'm, I know his, he has to keep this alive. There's no reason for him to sack this yet. Rocks aren't up on the field. He can still bring it in for free. So I go for the U-turn on his obvious switch. Because Stone Edge would definitely kill here. And if not, it would put it in defeatist range. I, I mean, yeah, dude, all these things going through my mind. I might be one down right now. But he's, I got I got a little momentum. He got he got the momentum with the Clefable. But this did, whoops, this Digimon. This, uh, this Ditto switch here, this double that we both did, I guess, really helped us out. Really helped us out. Um, he was going into this to sack it off, and this, this was the time, this was the time where, now I know what to do. I know what to do, because all I have to do now is go into Seismitoad. I can live two more HP Ices unless he crits me. Remember this, I can live two HP Ices unless he crits me. I know he was sacking it off, and he's probably like, fuck, he didn't go for Stone Edge. But, you know, what are you going to do? I was predicting the switch. I needed, a, I needed the momentum. I needed the momentum. In the end, I needed the momentum. So I got my momentum back. You know, he killed Michael Fable. Good job. Good job. Wasn't going to do anything this battle anyway. Uh, unless I got to like plus six, plus six, which no, I know Dan wouldn't let me get to. So, you know, <laughs> it didn't matter. So I'll, now my pretty much my. I'm thinking about it. I was thinking hard about this. I'm like, well, what's my optimal play? Do I just go into Size and and spam Stealth Rocks? Or do I go into. Or do I go into like um, Lucario and E Speed? Because E Speed will kill this right now. And I don't, and but I didn't know if he had heat wave or not yet. So in the end, I am gonna decide to go into my um, what you call it? What's my what you call it? Exactly, my what you call it? Um, my uh, seismitoad and just spam stealth rocks after the, at this point because there's no reason not to. I need rocks up on the field. He has a typhlosion. He has a braviary. Um, and other and you know a little bit more damage on everything. Pretty much gets me makes three hit KOs, two hit KOs. Makes two makes possible two KOs, guaranteed two KOs, um, and he goes for the HP Ice. That's all his only move to hit me with. I know I'll live it. I go for the rocks. I pretty much force him. He either has to kill me here or defog. But I just keep going. I just keep clicking rocks. That's all I have to do. I keep clicking rocks because he's on a timer. I know that he only has about one more burn turn left or two more burn turns left. I think two more burn turns left. So if he defogs here, um, that's fine. I go for rocks again. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, I don't need this thing anymore. I don't have it. I won't have a chance to set up my uh, rain dance plus thing support anyway. So I'm just like, okay, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. And he does live with like two HP, two HP. I mean, it's it's pretty much gonna be the same thing anyway. So he just goes for the HP ice to kill me off. To be honest, he should have just gone for the HP ice before. <laughs> Because it would have been the same result no matter what, I guess. Because he now he dies to burn, gone. That was a. I think that was played well by me. I think that was played well by me. Because Seismitoad, I mean, Earth Power. I did have Earth Power and Hydro Pump for uh, Registeel and Confagrius, but it didn't matter. It didn't matter. At this point, I'm just like, okay, I can make a comeback. If uh, all I have to do is pretty much set up with, not all I have to do. I can set up the Mega Slowbro now if he goes into the right Mon, but. Eh. All I do have to do is go into Tornadus, I'm pretty sure, because he's got. If you guys know, a lot of the times when you switch out, when you both double down, you'll go into your fastest mon because you're scared, you can U-turn, if it has U-turn or Volt Switch, and it's just safe. It's just safe. Usually going into a wall isn't the safest thing to do because they'll just go into a mon that. They'll just U-turn, Volt Switch into a mon that another person will go into. And knowing Dan, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go into, like, his Braviary. So I'm like, okay, which mon lives a hit from Braviary? He goes into Braviary. Uh, I, I calc it. And since he is Scarfed, hopefully, I was like, if he's Scarfed, I live. The maximum the maximum he does is like 90-something percent, I think. If he's Scarfed, I live. Um, so I'm like, if he goes for Brave Bird, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We'll live with like no HP. I am Damp Rock, so I, there's no Life Orb. 
Uh, Hurricane kills this thing like easily, easily kills this thing, especially after the uh, recoil. Because uh, if I had knockoff, I would have gone for knockoff to kill it. I don't have knockoff, so what do you want me to do? But uh, I'm like, Hurricane, please hit for me. Please hit for me. So he goes to the Brave Bird as, you know, expected. Tornadoes didn't really do anything to his team anymore because all it had was Heat Wave and U Turn. Um, it did have, it does have Taunt, so now depending on what he goes into, I'm pretty much just going to click Taunt. Here, I think he kind of misplays because, as you'll see, he's going to go into uh, a mana that was in his Registeel. So, what this allows me to do is just go for the Taunt on his Registeel, and now he can't T Wave Toxic, whatever he wants to do. So, I'll Taunt on him killing me. I'm like, will he have rocks? Because I now, I, you know, by now I knew that his Archaeops had rocks. So I'm like, his Registeel probably doesn't have rocks. I don't know what set it is because I've only seen, um, what what have I seen on his Registeel? I don't even remember. So he goes with Thunderbolt. I'm just like, what the fuck? Registeel has like no special attack ever. You want? Are you that scared of Mega Slowbro? <laughs> like, and this is when I'm just like, this is fucking perfect. This is beautiful. This is a hundred percent fine by me because I am specially defensive mega slow bro and if he goes for Thunderbolt that's gonna do like 20% max maximum um, I think it's like a seven hit KO or like like if I'm plus one or like eight hit KO and I have slack off I win this one v one and since he is taunted right now that's a free combine right now he can't toxic me he can't T wave me he can't any status stealth rock anything so Mega Slowbro is my also. I mean, of course, I'm still thinking about it because I was tired as fuck. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was tired. That's why I didn't. That's why I didn't live comment. So I was just like, you know what? It's time. It's about time. Let's go. It's time to win with Mega Slowbro. Pretty much, it's time to win with Mega Slowbro. Uh, if he's, yeah, if you if he stays in and while I set up combines and he just goes for T Bolt, I'm fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with that because my play here is I click combine and then I click. Slack off, and I click combine again, and then I click slack off. I know I click combine another two times, and I click slack off. So uh, there it is. There's the thunderbolt. Look at that. Does nothing, and that's like neutral. Now I'm plus one, and I go for slack off because even even if I was still if I went for scald, which would be the terrible play, it would be a choke on my part. That's still a three hit KO from where I was at. That's, that's not even at full, and he's burned. So he's on a timer while I'm not. So I'm just gonna click slack off and we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. He goes for T-Bolt again. I'm just like, you really should switch out, dude. You should really switch out. You have a, a Typhlosion with HP Grass. It could, if it specs, it'll still hurt. Or if you're a Power Herb Solar Beam, that would still hurt. Like, you know. I mean, by at this point, yes, I do not, I do not know if he is specs. And uh, here I believe he makes another choke because he actually goes, I mean, I guess this is like, he pretty much goes for a play where he has to prey on the hacks, because as you'll see, he'll go for Thunder Wave, because now he sees that doesn't have rest, so now I'm like, I win. Pretty much at this point, I internally say I win, because I'm plus two, um, he's, I'm t wave big deal, I'm not gonna outspeed anything anyway. Even if I get hacks like once or two times, one or two times, I'm not taking damage per turn from Toxic or Burn, so we're fine we're perfectly fine and he goes with a psych up here and i'm just like that's not gonna do anything i still won we i still beat you when we won and i go for the skull that does a lot pretty much now what i do is like he's still gonna die to burn in like two to three turns i say so i think yeah three turns is probably the better thing so here i go for slack off because he's gonna go for t-bolt no reason not to i just want to see how much it does it's gonna do the same as it did when i came in but i want to be back at full because, look, I'm still in the green. <laughs> I get paralyzed. That's unfortunate that I get paralyzed, but it happens. 25% 25, 25 chance, you know. So as long as I don't get hacked like three more times, you know, slow bro just wins. So now I go for, uh, he goes for T-Bolt. It's over. It's over. It's over. I get paralyzed. No, I don't. I go for the slack off and we're back at like 75% HP. He's not winning this easily. Um... So now he's just gonna he's gonna go for he's gonna get leftovers recovery okay that's fine and then he's gonna get burned he's almost dead once again another Pokemon almost dying to burn um, which is unfortunate you know it's like whatever what am I supposed to do so he goes for that I'm just like okay I'm going for I'm going for slack off because I need to be back at full to one v one your Confagagus otherwise you know we I can't beat your Confagagus so yeah I was kind of hoping he lived this turn <laughs> I was really hoping he lived this turn because then I just go for slack I go for combine again 
But it's fine. I'm back. I'm a full HP Mega Slowbro with plus two. I'm a full HP special defensive Mega Slowbro with plus two special defense. I'm not scared of Confagrius. It, because I now I know, okay, he has choice he had choice specs. There's no way he had haze. If he had haze, this could this would have been a different match. This would have been a completely different match. Um But actually if I think about it, it wouldn't have been a different match because watch he goes for Shadow Ball here, he's it's not gonna do anything. Alright, that's cute. Um he does get the special defense drop here. I go for the scald here, and I'm just like, ah, okay. No burn. Uh, you can't get a burn every time, but it's fine. It's fine. I got two burns already, so I'm perfectly happy with my uh, <laughs> my ratio right now. So he's gonna go for another Shadow Ball. I think I go for a Slack off here, I believe, or I go for a Scald. No, I think I go for a. Uh, I forgot. Well, okay. I'm pretty sure I go for a Slack off because that's the optimal play. Oh no, I go for a Scald. Okay, so I do go for a Scald. Oh, and now I remember because it doesn't matter because if Typhlosion comes in, unless he's Specs, I'm pretty sure. Uh, HP Grass doesn't kill. Uh, he has to be Specs for it to have a chance to kill. At the range of HP that I'm at, at least. I thought I was plus 3 right now. I guess I'm plus 2, plus 1 right now. So, and if he goes into Archeops, I know his Archeops can't kill me. The worst it can do is spam Stone Edge. It can't crit me. It ha or U-turn, but if it U-turns, it loses. He loses if it U-turns and I don't get paralyzed. So, I guess his play is to hope that, you know, his Typhlosion can kill me. With if he has Solar Beam, he can kill me. But, uh, yeah, these rocks were really important for this, because look, now he's, lo now he's low, we're fine, we're fine, and, uh, I click Scald here, because I know, unless he, uh, unless he has Solar Beam, he can't kill me, and we'll find out if he has Solar Beam right now, and he doesn't, he has the HP Grass, which won't kill, because I am plus one, especially defensive Mega Slowbro, and he is Extrovert Belt, yeah. So now, you know, Typhlosion goes down. Uh, Lucario wins the game at this point anyway, even if he does kill me with his Archaeops' U-turn, which might not kill for all I know. And at this point, what he does is he actually ends up forfeiting, which I thought was really dumb because we were at the end of the battle, you should at least finish it. That's just good sportsmanship, but you know, if he wants to be a bad sport, you can be a bad sport, I don't care. And uh, yeah, Dan, that was a nice 3-0 against Dan, because that's what it's going down as at least. A nice 3-0. So I, you know, I, we take those. Anastar Zero is looking nice and strong. I hope you Dirks enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, this, is, this has been Dirka, and peace.